We'll guide you through how to make a Forge Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go and quit Minecraft. Now, all you need to do is go and open up a web browser like so. And just before we get any further, a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. If we scroll down, you can see some of these awesome features they've got. For example, 24 seven servers and support because with this guide, you'd need to have your computer on the whole time. And also with Apex, you get support as well. And just to show you how easy it is to make a Forge server in Apex, you come down to Game File, click here, and you can just go and type in Forge, like so, and you can choose the version, and literally press Change Version and Create New World, and you've now got yourself a Forge server. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below, and also at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. But anyways, to continue with the guide, you need to go and type in Minecraft Forge, just like so, and then come to the Forge site, now come over to the left and you need to go and choose the version of Forge you want. In this case, we'll get 1.20.2. You can then go and click on installer like so. You'll get taken to an ad wall. Do just be patient here as this is ads. So if you click any download button, it's for the ad. You need to click the skip button in the top right and that will start Forge. And also you can then get any mods you want to go and use your Forge server as well. Although we'll mainly be focusing on that in another video. We're just setting up Forge. Now what we can do is come out of your browser and open up your file explorer and go to downloads. Find the Forge installer and then all you want to do is drag it onto your desktop like so. And then what you need to do is go and double click on it like this. First of all, we need to install it for our client, which is Minecraft on our computer. So we can actually go and join the server and other players will need to do the same. And if you're struggling to run Forge like I did just there, then what you need to do is get something called Java. So what you can do is come back to your web browser and go to java.com and you can go and download it and install it. And then what you can do is come back to Java, which is successfully installed for me. You can right click on it click on open with, and then you can choose Java. You may need to click on choose another app to find it. If that still doesn't work, then you may need to do something called a jar fix, which links jar and Java files again. Anyways, after you've installed it on the client side, which we already did, now we need to click on install server, and you now need to go down to the path here and click on the three dots, come to your desktop, and you want to go and click on the new folder icon in the top right here, and just go and name this Minecraft server, like so and then click on open, and we've now gone and put it in there. Now go and press okay like so, and it's gonna start getting all of the server files into that folder. Once it's finished, it will go and say that, and you can press okay. And now what you can do is open the folder that it created. Now what you need to do is double click on run.bat like so. Now I'm actually getting an error here saying it can't find or load this main class here, even though it is there. And this is because we need to get JDK. So come back to your web browser and what we need to do is go to the Java website again. And then what you need to do is go and click on Java SE development kit. Now you can scroll down and we can click on JDK 22, select windows, and we can then go and download the installer. Once it's finished downloading, we can then go and install it. After you've installed the Java development kit, come back to the run.bat and now you should be able to go and run it, as you can see. You do need to agree to the EULA now, so close off of this and you're going to find the EULA.txt. So this is essentially agreeing to the Minecraft EULA. So you need to go and copy and paste this link into a browser and read it. I already have. And then you can go and change it to true if you agree to it. Click on file and then click on save. And then what you can do is run at the run.bat again. And now, as you can see, the Minecraft server is now running. We've gone and got this pop-up here. And then what you can do is go and open up Minecraft. What's super important is you go to the left of play and then you go and select forge and then go and click play again. Now, all you need to do is go into multiplayer. You can click on add server. Because you're running the server, you can just type in localhost, press done, and there is the server. You can double click on it and you can now go and join it. If I go and open up uh, the Minecraft server, you can go and see Guide Realm has joined the game. Now it's important to note that for other people to go and join it, you need to go and make it public. We've got a guide on how you can do this super simply, which I'll put a link to in the description. They'll need to be running the same version of Forge. And if you install any mods, they'll also need to be installed in your computer and anybody else's who joins the server. And you need to put the mods in the mods folder in your Minecraft server folder, like so. And the next time you want to run your server, all you need to do is run the run.bat file. I hope you found this useful.